after 9-11, President George Bush told us to shop. But during World War II, President Franklin Roosevelt told us to plant, to plant victory gardens. The federal government told us it was our patriotic duty to grow our own fruits and vegetables so we could ship our canned goods to our troops fighting overseas. Grandpa and Dad always kept garden plans in their heads, but victory garden plans should be on paper. So, with the advice of the county home demonstration agent, they will study state and federal bulletins, which have been written to serve as guides in victory gardens. And the American people responded. More than 20 million families planted backyard or community gardens, and most of these folks were newbies. A study of victory gardeners in Chicago showed that 90% had never gardened before. Kids became involved. Here in Ingham County, Michigan, where I live now, almost 8,000 youngsters joined the Junior Soldiers of the Soil, part of the Food Fights for Freedom movement. Here, four rows of early potatoes. Then, two double rows of peas, early, medium, and late. One row of cabbage. Double row of carrots and beets, half a row of each. One double row of greens, spinach, mustard, turnips, and chard. Tomatoes, early and late, wilt resistant. Peppers, half a row. Radishes, lettuce, and onions next to the house. Asparagus and rhubarb beds are at the side. Pole beans, three rows. Four rows of sweet corn along the fence. And finally, two rows of lima beans complete the early garden. By 1944, the U.S. Department of Agriculture estimated that 40% of the food produced in the United States came from victory gardens. Used to make furrows for small seeds like lettuce, about a half inch deep. Who said gardening was just pleasant exercise? A serving of stomach poison with a cabbage should finish Mr. Cabbage Worm. Rotenone and pyrethrum dust have been made scarce by the war, so cryolite dust is used. Looking at the problems on the horizon, droughts, floods, fires, higher food prices and food shortages, maybe it's time we think about saving civilization one tomato at a time. And please put down that spray gun, son. <laughs>